Hey guys, welcome to Casual Unboxing. This is Walter. Um, he was kind enough to let me use his uh, lawn and we're gonna mow it with this remote control lawnmower. So this is the lawnmower. Took about three months to build because I was messing around with it and I had some setbacks. Initially I didn't have front wheels, I just had the stock ones but then I realized it wasn't able to turn. So what I did, I used the chassis from the little um, motorized scooter and I mounted them on with these three bolts. That was a lot of work.
and that's it. Um, I'm going to go into the nitty and gritty if you guys want to uh, know the inner workings of the lawnmower. Um, and that's it. Walter, thank you very much for You're welcome. letting me use your lawn. I'm sorry for these. butchering it. Yeah, this is awesome. Two thumbs up. I'm going to make one. Awesome. Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can hear me well because I'm outside and the birds are chirping like crazy. But uh, either way, so I'll tell you guys more about this lawnmower. So what I did was uh, I bought this scooter called Hover Around and basically cannibalized it. Bought a lawnmower and added the scooter to the lawnmower. Um, so I used the front chassis from the scooter. The lights are just uh, extra, I don't know, just to give it a little zing, I guess. Um, aesthetic reasons only, <laughs> they don't function because who mows their lawn at night? Um, then what I did was I used uh, the motors from the scooter. So there's two different motors. Uh, there's a motor here and there's a motor here and they're independent of each other. So if you want to go forward, both wheels or both motors spin clockwise. If you want to go backwards, both motors sp spin counterclockwise. If you want to go to the left, this motor spins counterclockwise, this motor spins clockwise, and basically it turns the uh, lawnmower. Now, when I initially did this project, what happened was uh, I left the stock wheels on, and what I found out <laughs> into the project that the lawnmower doesn't turn. So I was like, okay, so what am I gonna do? So I just used the chassis from the scooter. Basically, I cut it off and mounted it on because these wheels, they just freely rotate. See? So whichever way the lawnmower goes, the wheels follow, basically. And this is just a cheap little remote controller. And this remote controller comes with a receiver. The receiver is right here. And the receiver is hooked up to these little thingies right here. <laughs> okay, so the way it works is I have it set to a single uh, knob or whatever this thing's called. If you press forward, the lawnmower goes forward. Both wheels turn. If you press backwards, obviously it goes backwards. But if you reverse it here, you'll have it reversed on here. So you just have to play around with it. Now when I want to go to the left, this wheel is going to spin back towards me or counterclockwise. This wheel is going to spin clockwise. So, see. So that's pretty cool. The sensitivity, I had to lower the sensitivity because I had it at 100% and with these pegs in, it was digging holes. One thing that I've done, I found out that the wheels are slipping. So I bought these pegs, um, they're like metal pegs. You twist them in with a drill and that's it. They have like a special attachment that drills them in. So the wheels are solid. I switched the wheels from air wheels to solid wheels. I think I got these on eBay for like $20 or something. And these pegs are really expensive. <laughs> um, on eBay, they sell them for like a dollar a piece, but I don't know how I found some seller that was selling these much cheaper. So that's how I was able to afford them. Because <laughs> otherwise it would have been too expensive. I put a little um, voltmeter and tell me what po what's the power usage and other stuff like that. So here's the unbutton. And when I turn it on, it tells me, I don't know if you guys can see because it's so sunny out. The lights come on, back lights come on, and the front lights come on. These are fog lights that I bought off eBay, I think. No, Amazon. I got these on Amazon. If you guys want, I can link, uh, I can put all the links um, to all the stuff that I use if anybody's interested. I have two batteries, two 12 volt batteries, and they're hooked up to create 24 volts. Um, on off switch, a little voltmeter right here I just bought on Amazon. Now, under the hood, we have um, this is motor controller. It controls both of these motors independently. Uh, it takes up to 36 volts and sends it whichever way you want it. So, since I have 24 volts, it's taking the 24 volts, puts it to the left wheel and to the right wheel. And here's the positive and negative. I think it's positive and negative. I don't have my voltmeter on me, so I can't measure it right now. Then it 
takes uh, either 24 volts or 36, reduces it to 5 volts uh, for this receiver right here. So this and this came together, it was like $20 I think on Amazon. Sorry, it's so windy here. Um, I have a little um, battery meter, but it's not very accurate. So when I turn it on, it tells you 100%, but it shuts off after like a minute. So I don't know if I like this. I was just doing it temporarily just to see if I like it. I don't because it's not accurate. And it doesn't stay on, so it defeats the whole purpose of me putting it in here if it's not going to stay on. I noticed since I have a black <laughs> toolbox, it gets really hot. Besides this uh, motor controller, it gets really hot when it's got a lot of voltage going through it. So what I did was I took two fans from a PC and basically stacked them on top of each other and cir circulates the air. It's good enough, it doesn't overheat. I've been using this lawnmower for a couple of months and it works really well. So here I have a voltage reducer, I don't know what it's called, it's a voltage converter I guess. So it takes 24 volts and lowers it to 12 volts. Now this is for the lights specifically. I can run these, if I run these on 24 volts, these lights, they would burn out basically. So I chose not to do that. I, this is the second one I have. The first one I bought was um, really cheap <laughs> and started smoking. So uh, this one has been working out great. And this is the stock charger that comes with the hover round. So I just took it, I don't want to mess with it. I cut the cable and I shortened it and stuck it in here, put some glue on it and that's it. Here, I, all I did was use glue, uh, <laughs> um, hot glue gun. Now I should have used something different because during summertime when it gets hot, this thing gets tacky. So when it gets really hot out, this glue gets sticky, but it doesn't run. So that's all I care about. <laughs> as long as it doesn't run, I'm good to go. And that's it. I mean, not too much to it. It's pretty simple under the hood. Uh, the biggest challenge was putting it, everything together. <laughs> all I had was a hacksaw and <laughs> some wrenches. So, and that's it. Um, the wheels are solid and these pegs are for like motocross and they last i think they have like carbide ends or they're carbide so they're very very hard one thing if you're ever building one of these this will ruin your sidewalk because if you're driving on a sidewalk with this these embed into your sidewalk and basically dig holes um noticeable too so i would be careful i put these on so because the wheels slip especially when you start mowing the lawn the lawn gets wet, moist, and the wheels start slipping. Uh, they work very well, but to drive them on sidewalk, be careful. This is to shut off the lawnmower. So when I start up the lawnmower, basically, so the lawnmower itself is independent of the wheels. So you can run the lawnmower like this. And this little switch I mounted just to shut it off. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, let me know what you think of it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it was a fun project, uh, frustrating and lots of fun at the same time. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.